which I love. Christine Baranski plays a tough lawyer who hires co-star Julianne Margulies and makes it clear why she's doing it. Take a look. You're not Carrie. You can never be Carrie. But you don't have to be. I don't understand. Your name, your connections. You've been reluctant to use them. You want me to use my connections? I want you to want the job. This is a great show. Please welcome Christine Baranski. <laughs> Congratulations, two oh. Emmy nominations, one for The Good Wife, one for The Big Bang Theory. I know. How cool is that? Yeah. That's exactly. yeah. really one dramatic, one for me. Yeah. I know. Christine can do anything. Absolutely. I've seen you on Broadway many times, and you just... Keep going. Yes, yeah, so. You're just a remarkable <laughs> talent, I think. Which Thank one you. do you appreciate more, The Big Bang or The Good Wife? Well, I appreciate them both. You love you know. The Big Bang, because a big... Who doesn't appreciate a good bang? <laughs> Especially a big one. Yeah, yeah. No, no. You know, I really appreciated being uh, nominated for a dramatic role because I'm not known as a dramatic actress. Yeah, yeah. And this was my first time out doing a series where I play a uh, heavy. You could see how serious I was. <laughs> yeah. I'm usually used to getting the laugh. So to be nominated in my first year doing a dramatic role was really special, especially since, you know, when you're starting a series, you're finding your way. Mm -hmm. The writers are finding their way, so it was a little like, wow, where are we going here? So to get that kind of affirmation was great. That said, The Big Bang Theory is so much fun. I play a professor of neuroscience at Princeton, which is like, okay, <laughs> tough, but uh, it's such a fun show, and I literally was shooting The Good Wife, uh, flew out on a Saturday morning, rehearsed Sunday and shot the Big Bang Monday and Tuesday, and they were rewriting the episode on the floor. So it was like, whoa! Well, your mind is flipping. Yeah, yeah no, it was, it was lawyer, scientist, lawyer, scientist. <laughs> You know, it's a very timely show, The Good Wife. One of my faves. I love it. I love Mad Men. Amazing. I love The Good Wife. It's a really good show. You should catch it. And it's so timely because it's loosely based basically on, uh, on Governor Spitzer's situation where he went to a high-end hooker and was yeah. happily, supposedly happily married. And it's the same thing in this show. And I wonder, why do politicians seem to, do you have any idea, of why do politicians seem to be able to just blindly go about this and think that they're never going to well, get caught? The combination, I guess, is being male, lots of testosterone, and, and uh, hubris. And why do some of the women stay and some leave, like Silda Spitzer? Well, I, I think Jen with the Sanford, women, right. don't you think these women have children? And when you have children and you have a family, the instinct is, You've got to protect. You've got to protect those children. You've got to keep them uh, from the showbiz aspect. Uh, you're trying to maintain your dignity in public. I think it's just insanely difficult. When we shot the Good Wife pilot, it was okay. It was based kind of on the Elliot Spitzer story. <coughs> After we shot the pilot, then was Mark Sanford. Right. 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 Then it was the continuing saga of John, John Edwards. Edwards. Berlusconi in Italy, and then the piece okay. de resistance, yeah. Tiger Woods. Yeah. I mean, it was just the gift that... Yeah, well, but the the others were a politician. <laughs> Tiger Woods is not, is not a politician. No, it was no, like... like, like, like it, yeah. Yeah. But leaving or staying, which is better for the family or the kids? I think it, it so depends on those particular people, that wife, that, that husband, whether they can work it out. Sometimes if you simply like with and Elizabeth she, Edwards, I think she just said... I'm out of here. Yeah. I just can't but do it. But the brilliance of the good wife is that they deal with the ambiguity of the situation. We don't it's not know whether she's that. leaving or staying. Julianne no. is constantly yeah. tortured by it, her character. I know. Well, Isn't you know, she wonderful in it? Christine, yeah. speaking of marriages, you have been married to your husband, Matthew Coles, for over 20 years. 27 in October. 27 years. And it's so funny because he played on uh, All My Children one of the most evil villains ever. As soon as you saw him, you remembered his face. One of the most evil villains ever. And I remember him. He was so creepy on All My Children. He, was he, a, he played, played, a, he he played, played a, a... Yes, I married a, a man who played a white trash pimp. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember... He's a brilliant, brilliant bad guy. 
Yes. And he's a guy who will get on his BMW motorcycle almost every morning and go to Mass at our local country church. He has a, a um, canonized saint in the family, Catherine yes. Drexel. Wow. We went to the canonization, wow. yes, of co uh, second cousin, twice removed. Stop it. Yeah, he comes from a very Catholic, the Drexel family, very Catholic. Yes. My Do Billy you live up to that particular sainthood personality? <laughs> no, he doesn't want me to be that good. <laughs> <laughs> we were nominated for an Emmy before on Sybil as the divorce uh, Mary yes, I, right? I was nominated and I won that year. And it, that was my, it was great to be nominated for a first time and just like win, <laughs> get it over with. Yeah. Now if I don't win, it's like, okay. <laughs> The quote that, that I called myself the Dean Martin of actresses. It, it had to do with, I think, the fact that there was always a kind of a martini attached to my wrist, mm -hmm. right. and a lot of the roles I played, fun roles. You know, it's kind of a, that kind of sophisticated, wicked, chic character. Mm -hmm. I played a lot of them, but they're fun. Let yeah. me ask you, because this this woman that you're playing now may not be as much fun. How do you get rid of her at the end of the day? The, the lawyer. Yeah. You know, that's interesting. I think when you do theater, it's hard to get rid of your character because you're doing it eight times right. yeah. a week, and then you just start becoming, I be sort of become that personality. Mm -hmm. If I'm playing an English woman, I start talking with an English accent. Or, but, uh, no, the film stuff is easier to let go. Mm -hmm. And believe me, after 17 hours on the set, you want to let go of it. Oh, yeah. You just... <laughs> I just, you know, we're such fans of yours because oh, you've been you. in so many things. That it's too numerous to list, but I'm going to list some of them. Okay. The Grinch That Stole Christmas. The Birdcage. Yes. Chicago. And, of course, Mamma Mia. And then, but you say that your success came later in life, and you like it that way. See, I wouldn't say my success came later. I just was a working actress from the time I left Juilliard. I worked for about 20 years doing plays before I was successful in that way that people think successful, meaning everybody in America knows you, and like, well, then you're on the red carpet yeah. or you're winning awards. I considered my, myself successful from an early age because I was always working. You were always working. I've done yeah. like maybe, I clocked about 58 theater productions that wow. I've done. Wow. Yeah, I've done a lot of I've been around. I think it's more than 58. 58, 58 theater. <laughs> <laughs> one thing we have to say, one thing we got to say is we wish you the best at the <laughs> Emmys, nominated Thank twice, you. drama and comedy. Thank you.